Hey, Bulls fans, Adam Harry here with a quick unboxing. Today, I'm excited to bring you guys the Imperial Fist Intercessor with auto bolt rifle and auxiliary grenade launcher. This is the Bandai Marine, guys. We finally got one in. Uh, we ordered it whenever they went up for pre-order way back when, and they're finally out. Uh, and we're pretty excited about this one. Uh, it's got a really fancy box packaging. There's gold inlay and stuff. Like, this is, this is a box I'm going to try not to destroy. But I've got the plastic wrap on it, so I'm going to take that off, and we're going to dive right in. All right, here we go. I've got the uh, plastic wrap off, and I do want to point out a couple of things. There's like some extra tape here. I don't know if this is like an external box. Is it a box within a box? I think it is. Here we go. I have not opened this before, so I have no idea. Can, can it come off? All right, here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. So that slides off. It's like an outer shell, and then the actual marine here. Holy crap! Okay, and this is all taped up, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get some scissors to cut. You can kind of see the tape on the top, so I'm gonna cut those real fast. So let's do that. All right, just cut this. I'm gonna move the side there. Okay, here we go. Just real fast, back of the box too. So sides, check that all out. Very neat, very cool. And there's one more up here that I missed. Get that. I just put my scissors away. I'm going to use my keys. So here we go. <laughs> like I said, I have not opened this before. So I had no idea. So there's three pieces of tape when you're opening this in at home. All right, this is FYI. Here we go. Again, I'm trying to be gingerly with the box. I don't want to rip anything because it's so fancy. Ooh, that's a very shiny gold inside. Thanks, Bandai. That's very nice. Okay, there's probably more tape all over this. There's the there's the toy, the action figure. There's tape all. Of... <sighs> all right, I'm gonna get some scissors. I'll be right back again. <laughs> okay, let it be known, Bandai, they do not mess around with the packing tape, guys. There was a lot of tape all over the sides here. I think I got most of it. Well, let's find out. So, uh, just real fast, I discovered this pops off here. Opens like this, and then this should theoretically pop off here. Boom. So that's plastic. Ta da Okay. And then real fast, this is also double plastic protected here. And I missed I missed the tape. Again, because that's how much freaking tape was on this thing. Okay. Now we can finally get to the Marine. Alright, so what do we got here? Obviously, real fist. Uh auto bolt rifle there with auxiliary grenade launcher. Very cool. Let's just see if we can't pop them out of the thing here. Ooh. Ooh. All right, very cool. Lots of articulation there in the arms. The hands you can pop, I'm not gonna pop the hands out. I don't, I don't wanna, be, oh my God. That goes back in there though. It's supposed to do that, right? Hope so. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's, that's pretty crazy. Okay, and then, so it's just a ball socket. You can do that again, you guys can see there. Not even a ball socket, it's just like a peg socket. First thing I do, pop the arm off. Sure, why not? So lots of articulation, lots of these plates move too. The legs and stuff. Feces, they actually bend there. Um, there's the ankle, whatnot. All that fun movement. He's very squeaky still. Okay, so his rotates there. Okay, wow. There's lots of movement here. Very cool. Also, notice the paint job on this thing. He's got shading already on there. This is, again, right out of the box. It comes like that. We didn't, I haven't painted this guy or didn't done anything fancy like that. So, wow. He needs some oil, some holy unguents from the Emperor to loosen up those joints though, I'll tell you what. All right, very cool. What about the gun? So it's plastic, it's not cloth or anything like that. It's still kind of nice. So that, it's got a nice little buckle there though. That's cool. So this, this thing, the strap kind of moves around, okay. Very cool looking. Auxiliary grenade launcher, audible rifle. The the, the holes are, are bored out, so those are actually clear. Close combat weapon, it's a big it's a big knife. Very nice. Not a, not an actual knife. Uh, backpack, let's pop this out. Sorry about the noises. Again, this 
very very easily very simply pops on there i'm not gonna do it all the way but you get the idea da 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 hero fist all the way right so pop that off does come off all right cool cool and then there's hands if you want to use different things for different grips and whatnot so maybe i want them to hold this gun and i'm, I'm afraid to break it but it should it should go on like you know what i'm gonna pretty broken arm i don't it didn't break but you get the idea uh, should, should go in there like that, right? It's it's flexible. It's bendy enough. Shouldn't ruin anything. Okay, here we go. Yeah, just like my G.I. Joe's when I was a kid. Cool. And then this is right hand, so this would pop that off there. Again, this is actual, this is a ball joint. The armor plate popped off from the elbow. All right, that's good enough. So that would go walk in like that this elbow guard so it's a t right i don't know if you guys can see that as well but that will that will keep it so you don't put, put this on upside down or or try to force it on there to break it so that's nice so it goes right in there yeah all right head moves very nice that's a that's a cool looking action figure model from bandai and then real fast i'm gonna pause i'm gonna grab something and show you guys a little comparison here all right just real fast if you got one of the mcfarland toys if you were lucky enough to get one of these action figures this is the mcfarland toys version uh you can definitely see there is a slight very slight size difference here um very very slight um so it's hard to gauge these models without having them like out. So what I'm gonna do, we had a we had a gentle bin paint up one of our we had another one of these. We had them painted up like uh, Howling Griffin. I don't know if you guys have seen this gorgeous model uh, that he painted up, but it's actually glued to a base. It's very fancy. I don't like touching it because it's I'm scared I'm gonna damage it. Sorry, Ben. I'm not, but I'm scared. All right, it's so pretty. <laughs> So just the size comparison. Again, I'm gonna put the backpack on so we can get a kind of a real scale size comparison here. It definitely looks like these models are, these models, these action figure guys. This one feels a, is lighter because it's like straight plastic, but this is that, uh, this is not the same material. Obviously if you've, if you've handled one of these before, it's not the same material, but you can kind of see these guys are nearly the same scale, like arm-wise, shoulder pad-wise. Again, very, very close in scale. Um, interestingly enough, close in color because of Ben. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's there's more articulation for this, and obviously this one's been glued in place. Uh, but they are very, very close in scale. I still think that the McFarlane Toys one is a little, maybe a little taller? Not by, not by much. Not by much. It's like maybe a, like a millimeter, a couple millimeters taller. Um, it's also, it also feels a little thicker around the chest area. The backpack's actually bigger on the, uh, on the Bandai version, so that's interesting. But uh, yeah. Also, it's hard to compare because this guy is now on a base and this guy didn't even come with a base. So, but yeah, you can kind of see they're very close. Again, he's on a base, but if I put my fingers there, it's about right. They're super close. Super close in size and scale. Here's another example, the bolter. The bolter sizes are very, very close. I think this one has a, a fatter barrel, uh, maybe a little wider. Um, obviously, it's got the big drum magazine thing, too. So, very close. Um, Quality-wise, it's a Bandai figure versus a McFarlane Toys figure. So, again, difference in material there, difference in articulation and, and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> neither one of these is uh, is bad. <laughs> I don't want to make the comparison that one's better than the other, because that's not what I'm trying to say uh, at all. These are both fantastic options. The Bandai one is, is cheaper. If you you might be able to still find this one. Well, the oh, sorry, the McFarlane Toys one was cheaper, 
you may be able to still find this one maybe not unpainted but if you're lucky uh maybe the ultramarine version or one of the other versions and then this version the bandai one again was special order they're no longer available unfortunately but i'm sure we're gonna get more runs of these bad boys at some point maybe different chapters and things like that so very cool overall and then of course we have our custom one that ben painted up for us which is just fantastic and there's nothing that's going to replace that for me so thanks man uh but yeah very cool overall uh if you guys didn't get your chance to to grab one of the bandai ones i'm sorry i'm not trying to flex on you with this one but we did we did order one so we paid it for it and everything like that so just got to get in on that order faster i guess next time but that's gonna be it for uh for bowls that's gonna be it here for uh this awesome Bandai Space Marine, the Intercessor here. Again, very cool Imperial Fist. Um, thanks for watching. I'm Adam Hare from Bulls. Signing off. Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.